that. Monica Miller from the American Humanist Association. We recently awarded Representative Jared Huffman. Is anyone here from Marin County or that area like Monica is? All right. Jared represents uh, California District 2. And the reason we wanted to recognize him today is because he, along with three others, are the co-founders of the Congressional Free Thought Caucus. It exists, and it's been around for about a year and a half now. And that is a, at the congressional level, a group of about, I think it's like 20 people now, that get together and talk about how they can influence through legislation the separation of church and state and the fair treatment of people who are non-religious, as well as the use of science in legislation. How about that? Science in legislation. Yes. And so we're recognizing Mr. Huffman not only for that, but also for recent comments that he's made supporting humanism and coming out as somebody who is not religious. And on top of that, most recently, he made it a point to point out in a congressional meeting that there is no need for anybody at these meetings to put their hand literally on a Bible and swear in. And so we love that he's representing us as non-believers, as atheists, and as humanists, and so we are proud to give him this award. Unfortunately, he also just had knee surgery and he could not be here, but he, wa he wanted us to know how much he appreciates the award and the recognition, and to read us the letter that he sent us, Monica Miller. Happy Free Thought Day, everyone. Thank you so much for this amazing award, and I wish I could be there in person to receive it. Think of me as being there in spirit. <laughs> it's an honor to join the ranks with uh, Representative Jerry McNearney and State Senator Richard Pan as a recipient of this award. And I want to emphasize just how much it means to me. As many of you know, I'm the first openly humanist member of Congress, and I am grateful to live and serve in an era when a member of Congress can openly come out as a non-religious humanist and politically live to tell about it. Announcing that I am not religious, non-religious was not an easy decision to make. Historically, it has not been possible for political figures to do something like that and come out on the other end unscathed. But in, at the end of the day, I knew it was what I had to do. The misuse and abuse of, re of religion in Washington has become an epidemic not just from the constant incursions into the secular character of our government, but also the dishonesty and hypocrisy. Since my announcement, we have founded the Free Thought Caucus to protect the secular character of our government, to promote policy that's based on reason, science, and moral values, to reinforce the separation of church and state, and to protect true religious freedom. That includes the right to have no religion. That work can feel like an uphill battle especially today with a White House that is weaponizing religion to infringe on human rights, and with many state legislators working to expand their form of Christian nationalism. But I think people are recognizing that threat. More and more of my colleagues have joined our Free Thought Caucus meetings to focus on maintaining that separation. We're shining a light on state-level efforts to erode individual rights under the guise of religious freedom, in quotes, and we're working to lift up important legislation, like a bill that challenges blasphemy laws around the world, and a bill to reverse Trump's Muslim ban. It's important to note that all of these accomplishments would not be possible without the work done each and every day by people like you. With your support, we're moving the needle on what it truly means to have separation of church and state, and creating a political climate where that is not only accepted, but welcome. Thank you again for this award. It's an honor to be recognized as a leader on this issue that is so important to me and the folks I represent, Congressman Jared Huffman.